you are a true viewer of this channel, you know that I have been criticizing Kefir a lot for the lack of content and updates in recent years. But now this time it's a different video. We will be discussing the upcoming big update of Last Day on Earth, set to be released by the end of the year, and I will try to share everything we know so far about this new update. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! So, where to start? By the looks of things, it seems that this update, as I said before, will be coming by the end of the year. Now, previously, when they shared the 2024 roadmap back in August, they said that they were working on some of the points showed in the roadmap. And it's an approximate plan for the rest of the year. But also stated that if there were to be unexpected turns of events, they might change the development process. Well, it seems there were unexpected events happening in Kefir Studios since barely anything was introduced from the roadmap. Except for changes to seasonal events, you know Kefir, we love working on those updates. Well, there is good news for us. In response to a tweet, the official LDOE Twitter account stated, A major update with many changes is coming closer to the end of the year. In the in development section, we will gradually share what the game has in store for the future. Stay tuned for our publications. Yes guys, it's coming. Finally something we can be hopeful for. So yeah, by the end of 2024, we will have what we were waiting for all these months. Let's talk about what we can expect from this new big update. Well, there is a couple of clues that we can look at. For example, this artwork they shared about a new armor coming to the game with the tagline reading Hello Survivors. Winter is coming, and that means you need to insulate yourself. LDOE has quite a selection of winter apparel to keep the cold and the zombies away, pretty much confirming that this update will be released this winter. Also, we can guess that the new content is likely themed around winter, snow, cold, and whatnot. And if we go back to the roadmap, we can see that they have put northern region as one of the points they are working on, implying that the northern region might get a complete rework probably changing the layout, adding new zombies and resources which are also mentioned in the roadmap. Additionally, if you look towards the new bosses, you can clearly see a new boss with a snowy and cold theme, which further proves our suspicion towards the new upcoming update. So, this new update is set to be released at the end of the year. The main theme of the update is probably going to be around winter, which will add new resources, enemies and the boss. Now, with this information, we can speculate a bit more and try to guess what other features could be. In my opinion, along with the things I mentioned before, this update will add a brand new permanent location to the global map. And what location you might say? Well, I feel it's pretty obvious. It's the suburbs. The suburbs are already in the game but cannot be accessed. If you unlock the Swamp Watchtower, you will see this location appearing in the global map. We can't access it, but it might change soon. As the suburbs are located north of the global map in the snowy region, it's highly likely that they are going to be part of the upcoming update. Plus, by looking at the suburbs on the global map, we can see that they have a snowy theme too. The devs have teased this location for a long time now, sharing some artworks in the past and I think this is the right time to add the suburbs as a permanent zone in LDOE. As players, we have been waiting quite a while for fresh new content. Fortunately for us, the wait has come to an end. I am very hopeful for this next update. Personally, I'm getting bored of Last Day on Earth a lot lately and I'm not even playing it that much. I don't know about you guys, but I love this game and this update is what I needed. This is all we needed. And as always, make sure to share your own thoughts on the comments down below. I will gladly read all your comments. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.